Last week, we were enlightened on why freshly ground spices have so much more flavor than the pre-ground counterparts. But don't gather up all your pre-ground spices and throw them away just yet. Today, I'll show you how you can use the power of heat to bring your spices to life. Biscuits in the kitchen, I'm a sous chef on a mission. Baby, wiggle it, it's vicious. We about to break the dishes. Got the pepper with the sodium. We cooking with petroleum. Come step up to the podium and cut up this linoleum. Last week, we talked about how the volatile oils are released from spices when we fresh ground them. But it turns out that heat is another source that can be used to release those oils. Given this information, I'm gonna quickly walk through a couple of methods that can be used to heat up your spices. I did wanna point out that some of these methods are primarily only done with whole spices, but powdered ones can be used too. You just have to be a little bit careful not to burn them. Number one is dry roasting. Set your stove on a low heat with a cast iron pan and toss on your spices. As they toast, the flavor compounds are heated up and released. You just wanna toast them until they're fragrant and warm through. Number two is tempering. A mainstay technique in Indian cuisine, tempering is done by toasting spices over high heat with some oil or ghee. It is used in all sorts of different Indian dishes and helps provide so much more roasty flavor than you'd otherwise get. Number three is blooming ground spices. And this technique is a way to evenly distribute ground spices throughout the dish. Anytime you are sauteing onions or aromatics in some oil, Add your ground spices at this stage. The oil will heat up the flavor compounds and it will help it distribute more evenly throughout the dish. If you guys wanna check out a couple of videos where I use some of these methods, I'll link them in the description below. A couple of them that I know of are an Indian doll that I did, and then in Cacho e Pepe, we toasted the peppercorns before we ground them. Also in my recent Taco Tuesday video, we toasted the spices before adding them to our beef. But that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Let me know if you guys decide to incorporate any of these techniques to spice up your life, and I'll catch you in next week's tip video. Peace.